I want to become the number one arena player. However, this won't be easy. As you can see, my opponent is killing me right now. For free to plays like me, this is pretty much hopeless. So that's why I decided to get some outside help. This is Sun Tzu, a Chinese military general, strategist, and philosopher. And I'm gonna use his advice to become number one. Sun Tzu was the deadliest military general of his time, and he wrote this book called The Art of War. It's a book about how to win wars effectively. So I downloaded the ebook and it's almost 200 pages long and I'm gonna use quotes in this book to lead me to victory starting with this one so in war the way is to avoid what is strong and strike at what is weak every arena season lasts for 26 days I'm pretty sure for the majority of that time the arena leaderboard is organized and everyone is strong however there is one day where the arena leaderboard is reset there's utter chaos inside the arena everyone's confused and this is my perfect time to attack however this is not enough to become number one one. We need to look at another Sun Tzu quote. He will win. Who prepared himself waits to take the enemy unprepared. So there's a bit of a problem. I only have 12 arena tickets. In order to prepare to become number one, I'm gonna need a lot more. First, I'm gonna buy all these tickets from the Rainbow Shell Gallery. I have a lot of excess currency, so this is no big deal. Next, I'm gonna use a bunch of crystals to buy arena tickets. If you didn't notice already, it's actually a really good deal. A refill costs 160 crystals, which is less than a got the third method to get more tickets is by using mileage. So I decided to farm a bunch of mileage by doing a bunch of gacha pulls. I did end up getting a 4 star rock star, and I also got C farty, which is perfect. And that's a lot of arena tickets. I also decided to take this one step further and decided to buy more tickets with arena medals. So now we are capable of becoming the number one arena player. But how exactly is this possible? I can't just fight people randomly, I'm just gonna die. So now it's time for the next Sun Tzu code. Appear weak when you're strong, and strong when you're weak. This directly relates to revenge battles. My plan is to purposely look really weak. So I put C Farty, my favorite cookie, all alone in my defense team. So then, once I revenge battle people, I regain more trophies than I lost. And now it's time for a really important quote. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. Obviously, I'm not the only person trying to become number one inside the arena. Plenty of opponents are doing the same exact thing as me, and it's just way too competitive at the beginning of the season. So then I decided to wait around for an hour doing nothing. I was waiting for the leaderboard to settle down. One hour later. Alright, you can tell by the leaderboard that a lot of time has passed, and I do have some revenge battles ready. And now, it's time for the next phase of my plan. Well, actually, I'm not reading all that, so I'll summarize instead. The larger army always beats the smaller army. Typically, we think that arena battles are 5 versus 5. However, if we think outside the box, I'm actually able to use 25 cookies. This is because I'm able to make 5 different teams. By selecting counters based on the opponent's team, this gives me a huge advantage. Team number one is the anti-one-shot team. Team number two, I don't actually use this one anymore. Team number three, T-Knight one-shot, is very good against epic scrolls. Team number four, this herb team is made to counter T-Knight, Sherbert, and Rockstar. I was going to make a video about this team, but I haven't yet, so oops. Team number five is the Vitaya standard team, is very good against rare scrolls and pretty much everything else. There's only one last thing to do, and that's to fight for first place. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight, and I'm ready. Wait a second, all the people I'm fighting are all noobs. Well, I'm not gonna show any mercy, so that's too bad. I decided to make my defense team normal again because I ran out of revenge battles. Anyways, on this attack list, there's diamond opponent, crystal opponents, and gold opponents. I prefer to attack opponents with higher ranks because they give more trophies. Whenever the rest of the opponents are like gold tier, then I just refresh the page. I made huge progress and I'm top 600 now. However, this is a race against time because other people are doing the same thing as me. With no time to spare, Let's keep fighting.
This went on for a very long time, as you can imagine. Surprise, I'm second place now. Thanks to Sun Tzu's advice, it was really easy. So I casually tried to get first place like a normal person, but then this opponent showed up. I have to defeat these promotions in order to become number one. I really don't know if I'm gonna win. Or I can fight a bunch of gold tier people, but what's the fun in that? I'm gonna use this herb team that I created. And now it's time for the final battle. I did it, I am now the top arena player. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. You thought the video was over, didn't you? Well, it's not. I want to hold my position for a whole hour, and here's why. Three months ago, I used AI to become the top arena player. However, I only held that position for a few minutes. It felt like I didn't deserve to be first place. But this time around, it's gonna be different. In order to prove that I deserve my spot, I'm gonna attempt to hold my position for an hour. Let's get right to it. If you're first place, inside the arena, you get a ton of opponents that are gold tier. This is a major inconvenience because you only get one trophy per win. If I want to keep my position, I have no choice but to fight these people. Thankfully, I still have a ton of arena tickets left over. But then, I had a little bit of a screw up. All of a sudden, someone stole my spot. So, I paused my timer, killed some innocent people for a few minutes, and now we're back at number one. Everything looked pretty good until I had another screw up. Dang it! But I have a different plan this time. First, use 100 ballistic missiles to become number one again. Number two, another Sun Tzu quote. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So the person who stole my spot is called Pug Taka. I decided to try to get to know the enemy in order to win. But first I had to find them, so I looked in the place where everyone hangs out. The Cookie Run Kingdom Discord. And to my surprise, Pug Taka was there. Now it's time to confront my enemy. E. Hey man, we were top 2 all morning lol, congrats on hitting master first. You did good too, only reason why I'm tryharding is for a video. I usually don't tryhard either, but I wanted to get number 1 for a while for fun. And now it's time for another quote, all warfare is based on deception. I'm gonna quit soon so you can reach first in a little bit. What I said right here is actually a lie. I'm not giving up until I reach an hour. And hopefully I misled Pug Taka. And finally, there's only one last thing to do. Absolutely destroy my opponent. I'm the deadliest free to play and I always will be. I've defeated the prestige leaderboard, I've defeated Dev Sisters, and now I conquered the arena. I have successfully lasted a whole hour as first place. The video ends for real this time and you should subscribe, alright? I don't know why I made this video, but yeah, whatever.